Well, some call our next guest a genius. He's the man behind an incredible empire of comics, films, and television shows, and he's adding a new novel to his arsenal of stories. Welcome the amazing Stan Lee. Good morning. How are you today? Well, after an introduction like that, I'm just great. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, and, and I, I've got to brag on you a little bit because we're talking big time comics that you're responsible for. Spider-Man, The Avengers. I mean, so many iconic names that we've heard of right now. You've moved into novels. Well, it's not really all that different. It's telling a story. The only difference is, instead of telling a story with all pictures, this is a novel with a lot of words, but with a lot of illustrations also. Probably more illustrations than any novel has ever had before. So I'm not totally apart from the comic books. Well, and that's one of the things I noticed right away. I noticed there were a lot of illustrations in the book. And this is a book that is sort of geared towards children, correct? Oh, no, no. It's a book that I think children would love, but I would think a guy 50, 60, 80, 100 years old, would, anybody who likes a great adventure story about things that are bigger and more imaginative than life itself, which is the type of thing I've always tried to work on. And so let's talk about the book a little bit, The Zodiac Legacy. Tell me a little bit about what we can expect to see in this book. Well, the thing is, when we first dreamed up the idea at my company, POW Entertainment, I wanted, I love the name Zodiac. I've seen that word for years. And I said, that would make a wonderful title. And then when I realized it represents 12 phases of time of the sun, and each phase is represented by a different animal. And this thing has been in legend in China, in, in Greece, in, in Roman times. I figured I could make a real story out of this. So we have a hero um, who's a Chinese named Stephen Tang. Uh, I'm sorry, Stephen Lee. I use the same name as my name because I'm not good at remembering names, so that's hey, one that less worked. I have to worry about. <laughs> that works. <laughs> and he's a teenager, but he gets involved with a villain. And uh, this villain is... Um, I, I tried to do something different with the villain also. Instead of a, a name like Dr. Doom or Dr. Octopus or the Green Goblin that I usually do, I call this guy Maxwell, <laughs> just to be different. I like but he's it. As villainous as all, he's as villainous as all the others. And he's the head of a, an evil little army, which, again, I didn't call them the zombies or something like that. They're just called the vanguards, but you have to watch out for them. Anyway, our hero, Stephen, and he has to fight with the aid of a girl named Jasmine that he meets. Stephen and Jasmine have to fight the vanguard and, and Maxwell. But beyond that, they have to fight these creatures from the Zodiac, although they themselves are aided by six of the creatures. Maxwell has six on his side. They're all different creatures. And between the illustrations in the book and the story, which, which I I wrote with um, a, a really great writer whose name I'm trying to remember, Stuart Moore. <laughs> I have such trouble with names. It's me and because you I both. Have so many names. I have so many names floating around in my head. But anyway, Stuart and I came up with all these fight scenes and these problems for our hero. But I don't want you to worry. I am guessing, I'm not going to say definitely, but I'm guessing that things turn out okay in the end because we have to have room for the two sequels that we're going to have. Well, as you were describing this, I was thinking a couple things. This sounds like something that's going to be a series and also something I can see being translated onto the big screen even. Eventually, what do you think? Oh, I'm, al I'm already trying to picture how my company, POW Entertainment, how the letters will look right next to Disney. I, I don't know whether we'll make ours larger or smaller. We'll work it out. The lawyers will talk. I love it. But, <laughs> but you know, absolutely. we'll be waiting absolutely, for your cameo. We're hoping this will be we'll be waiting for your <laughs> oh, cameo in that one. Because I know you appear in all really... the movies based on your comics. <laughs> Yeah, and, and we do feel it would make a great movie or a TV series or perhaps both. I love it. Well, With good or luck. without a cameo. It, it is a great story. I love it. My kids are going to love it. Thank you so much for joining us today.
Oh, thank you for talking. It's been a lot of fun, dear, and I hope your kids do love it. Thank you so much. All right, you can pick up a copy of Stan Lee's new book, The Zodiac Legacy Convergence, wherever you buy your favorite reads. We're back with more of the broadcast right after this.